what is our position about alternative life forms, i.e. aliens, do Muslims believe in aliens or not? Has Allah created other beings? Or are we the only creation of Allah? Some scholars, including Ibn Taymiyyah, have opined that Allah Azza wa Jal has created other life forms. And that this goes back to the perfection of Allah being Al Khalaq. Khalaq means the one who continues to create. So the notion that the only creation is us, and after we're gone, there will be no other creation, it seems to suggest as if Allah is not really creating perpetually, continuously. And Ibn Taymiyyah felt that this diminishes the majesty of Allah. He felt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been constantly creating and will constantly continue to create to no end. And that what we know is only our world. That in our world, Allah began in this manner and there's going to be Yawm Al-Qiyamah. This is our portion. There are others as well, before us and after us. Are they simultaneous to us? Ibn Taymiyyah didn't talk about that. Ibn Taymiyyah is talking about the issue of Allah always creating. But there is no negation of the fact that other worlds could be simultaneous to us or other creations could be simultaneous. And there are many evidences that might possibly suggest this. So please don't misquote me. Don't tweet Yasir Qadi saying there's aliens. I'm saying there is some evidence to suggest that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created other creations. What are some of the evidences? Number one, He has created things you will never know, you don't know about. So you will never know, which means this is not something you can see. He has created things you don't know about. Number two, that Allah says in the Quran, that uh, Allah has created all of the heavens and the earth, and He has scattered throughout all of them creatures. Not just on the earth. The samawat is not just our heavens, it is beyond our heavens. And Allah says He has scattered creatures in all of them. And if He wants to, He can gather all of them up at once. Or He can gather the two of them together. Now you can understand this verse to mean the Day of Judgment, which is the majority interpretation. Or you can understand it to mean Allah has created all different creatures. And if He wanted to, He could cause them to meet. Both are linguistically possible. There are other evidences as well. I'll just jump straight to the one I think, Wallahu A'lam, is the strongest evidence to suggest that there might be other creations of Allah. And Allah knows best. Surah Isra, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَ وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى كَثِيرٍ مِّمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْضِيلًا We have honored the children of Adam, and we have carried them in the land and in the seas, and we have given them many things, and we have preferred them, humans, over many other things that we have created. Which means, we have preferred some over them as well. Do you understand? وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى كَثِيرٍ We occupy a high rank according to this verse but not the highest now in the world that we inhabit who is at the top of the pyramid I mean in the creation it's us who bow down to us the angels the jinn so then we are at the top in this world of the creation right yet Allah says in Surah Isra that we have honored the children of Adam over many other things we have created <laughs> 